body bags were horror lies. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 181, and I'm your Sunday host, Steve Bougie86, here again. Yes, it's that time for the Sunday review, guys. Now, the film I got for you guys today is a film from actually last year. Yes. Uh, this is a film that I actually didn't hear about until actually uh, our Friday host, Matt, actually, in his on his own channel, he actually picked this up in one of his updates and recommended it to like his viewers. Of course, I watch Matt's updates all the time. And this is a film that kept my eye and interested me because it is a creature feature, which I'm a huge fan of creature features in general. And that, of course, is Pterodactyl. Yes. Uh, of course, this is like a dinosaur-based creature feature. And it has like a very sci-fi root. I'll get more into that later in my uh, plot lines. Uh, the main plot is when we're introduced to our two main characters of Jonas and Lars, who are two best friends that, uh, Lars actually owns this landscaping business, which Jonas works with him on. And Jonas, as we meet him, is actually kind of not into the landscaping business. He's, he's one of the, like, go out and get an adventure and do things with his life. He's actually very good with, like, technician stuff. As we see, kind of, because uh, he's kind of lazy in like the landscaping business when we meet him. And he uh, tries to make like this motorized lawnmower to get out of doing work type deal. But it doesn't work out to his benefit. But uh, of course, after a long days of work, they end up going to uh, their favorite like water and hole like bar type deal. We are introduced to our third main character of Candace, who... Uh, Jonas has kind of like a crush on type deal. He's kind of shy towards her, not letting it out that he actually likes her type deal. And he ends up talking to her while they're watching the news. And we see like this huge meteor shower happening on the news. And Candace suggests like a, you know, like a, along the lines of, my uh, cousin actually works at like the science museum and he's, she's always buying like space rock type deal. So Jonas gets the idea to actually try to go find like one of these meteorites to make a profit on. So him and Lars end up going to like the valley to find one of these meteorites and they find one and take it back to Candace. But on their way to take it to Candace, uh, they get attacked by like this weird like mutated like prehistoric bird pterodactyl and they end up finding out that these pterodactyls actually came from like outer space and they're trying to take over the world that was once theirs type deal so it's up to our main characters of Lars, Jonas and Candace to stop this uh ongoing invasion of pterodactyls before it's too late and they overpopulate and take over the world. That is pretty much the main plot of this film without going too crazy into it. Now, my thoughts on this film. Uh, I didn't know what to kind of expect with this because, uh, you know, like these type of films, they use like a lot of CGI base to them. And this film is no different. The creatures themselves are CGI with uh, visual CGI effects. But... I kind of like to look at them and like in this way because they do have like a lot of movement to them and they do have different features with the pterodactyls themselves. Like uh, there's one main like villain one throughout the film that uh, actually gets burned alive in like the film but survives and they end up calling him Barbecue uh, through most of the film. That's how they differentiate him with the like the other pterodactyls. But they all have like different color tones and stuff. They're not just all like the same looking pterodactyl, which I did like. They try to differentiate uh, the different types of pterodactyls that are in the film. Now, the thing about this one that separates it from like, you know, like the low tier, like Asylum and uh, other like uh, sci-fi sci channel type films. I'm not saying this one's kind of like a sci-fi channel film. It's a very low budget film for what it is with its visual effects and stuff. But uh, the thing that separates this is the characters. There's a lot of likable uh, things in 
Dick's characters with Jonas and Lars's relationship as friends. And when they add Candace to that uh, dynamic, it actually works and benefits with the plot, with its humor. A lot of like funny like uh, lines of dialogue that intertwines with all these characters, which I really did like, especially when we're introduced to our other character of Samson, who is uh, actually the like kind of like the town drunk in a way. He's always drinking and always talking about I want to get hammered and stuff, and like like he hunted a shark in a lake type deal. He's like one of the funniest characters in the film when he's introduced. It's fucking hilarious when you actually get to meet Samson and. Uh, Stuff it's very enjoyable, like with the lines and how these actors actually intertwine and act with the dialogue in the film. Actually, very smart dialogue and very humorous for the type of film this is, and it's just very action packed. It doesn't let up. It actually starts off with a bang and keeps on going, and you're intertwined with these characters from the very beginning. It's a very entertaining watch, I have to say probably one of the most entertaining watches I have to say that I have watched of like these type of films in a long time it's very well done for the type of film it is with like the creatures and the aspect of like the humor and comedy that intertwine with it it's a very enjoyable and fun ride and I did like like there's a few deaths that happen that are very fun and cheesy and there's one line that Samson says in like after one of the deaths I'm not gonna really spoil who dies or anything but uh it's just fucking hilarious like uh, his uh reaction to it and stuff it's fucking hilarious yeah but if you're in for like a film with mindless fun that's very entertaining and actually has a very fun script the dialogue like I said is very well written for this type of film and its acting is very top notch with its characters with uh the creatures are awesome i like everything about it it's very action packed very awesome if you're a big fan of creature features like me this one is highly recommendable if i had to rate pterodactyl i'm giving it a salt 8.5 out of 10 it's just a blast to watch and it's a fucking trip if you haven't seen it yet i highly recommend it uh no special features on this dvd unfortunately but it's very uh, fairly priced. I actually like paid like maybe like eleven dollars for it, brand new. So def worth it in my opinion. Awesome ride, pterodactyl eight point five out of ten. Awesomeness. All right, guys, that's it for this review. I'll be back next week with another review. And as always, body bags family. I'll see you next week. Peace out.